All right, I, I thought today was a, it was a good work day. Uh, you know, we obviously Wednesday uh, work week uh, practice. You know, it's, uh, it's it's great here for the first one. You know, we've got to got to roll through this uh, you know a couple times, and uh, I think guys had an understanding of what to uh, you know, what to expect. Obviously, try to continue to you know with that and being the second day coming through on. Uh, uh, on game week, we really tried to push, you know, variations. We tried to push different looks. Um, you know, going into the first game, you know, you you prepare for you know, all things, and it's the big, probably the biggest menu that you're going to have throughout the course of the season. The things that you might see uh, just from a year of film study and trying to figure what personnel is going to be what. Uh, you know, you know, in all phases, you know, how's the planned attack uh, of you know what you might see, and so. You know, being able to work through a lot of those different looks, I, mean, I thought guys uh, you know, handled it well today. Um, there's still some things we're going to have to clean up here these next few days before kickoff. Uh, but I, I thought I think we've had a really, uh, you know, really good game prep, you know, over these last uh, uh, this last week and a half. And, you know, still seeing guys, you know, you know elevating their game. Um, you know, like I said, I've been pleased with the receiver position. I think those guys are ready to go. Um, you know, I think when you when you look at the competitiveness of our defensive backfield. Um, you know, those guys up front, it's just, you know, it's, it's, all, the, it's all the little details. And, you know, that's the thing that I'm you know, excited to, to witness and, and moment of truth. Well, this one, details and just you know, relentless effort is that going to show up on, on, a, on an every play basis. Uh, you know, I think these guys have worked for that. I think they're prepared for that. And now we just got to go execute that, uh, you know, here with the opportunity to have I mean, I, I think it's. I think a lot of it is, you know, timing, rhythm. You know, you obviously, uh, you know, guys building confidence in the things they're being asked to do. Um, you know, you see, you know, so far, older receivers, I think, have really elevated. I think Darion Williams has had a great, you know, last couple of weeks. He dealt with, a, you know, with a minor injury, you know, there early and was out for a few days, and um, you know, kind of getting back into that. But uh, you know, Ketron showed up, had some, had some really good moments. Uh, you in the last few days, and then, you know, I mean, Jakai. Jalen Brown, I'm really excited about what I've been seeing from him, and uh, you know he's he's putting himself in a position that I think really you know, got a chance to be an impact player. Had a really couple couple nice plays out there today too, and then Malik, you know he's been so so consistent, uh, you know for us. And uh, you know, when you have you know that group, and you do know, Spans another guy that we're expecting you know to be able to, to contribute. And, uh, when you have that, you know you're showing up, and, and those guys competing at a very high level, uh, you know they're, they're going against a good defense back. And, uh, uh, I think that competition is also made that better. Jim, you know, he's fast, physical aspect of the game, is that? Yeah, you know, he's, you know, he's, uh, obviously he's trains, trains hard, you know, Good Storm's done a great job with him. Um, you know, I think he's confident in, in uh, you know, the physicality that's that's necessary. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see him go out there and kind of lose. From a, from a travel perspective, I guess, what, what's the next couple of days look like and how are you guys addressing it? Yeah, so uh, you know we'll we'll fly out tonight. Uh, I think around nine o'clock, I believe it is. But uh, you know, we've got meetings before. You know, make sure we go. You know, we've been over all all logistical elements of it. But one more one more time, go over with guys just the best way to transition this. And uh, you know, also we'll try to get as much rest as we can on the plane tonight. Uh, you know, tomorrow, um, you know, we'll have, a, we'll have a pretty full day and uh, you know go through our normal you know Thursday game prep. And, uh, we've got a we've got a, a great plan for for what is. Uh, Necessary to, to, to allow us to be our best come Saturday. We're facing some dynamic quarterback you know really well, obviously, but you've got some talented guys um, on the scout team to replicate what you're going to show you. How do you feel like they've done as far as preparing? Yeah, I've been really pleased. I mean, I think I think just the overall, you know, depth of our program. Uh, you know, when you look at the scout team, you say what's the biggest difference in our program over the last few years? It's that. I mean, we've got you know uh, guys that will be elite players, in my opinion, here. Uh, you know, that are on scout team that are you know, giving a great look, um, you know, and it's 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 definitely it helps with the speed, it helps with the, the look, and, and you know being able to try to present some of the uh, the, the, the challenges that a team could could present. But um, you know, I really I really like what I'm seeing from our from our guys that are they're working in the scouts and just the way they're challenging themselves to go get better. With so many new guys on the team, what are some things you've done this off season to solidify the team culture? Well, you know, it's it, it's a it's a daily focus, and it, it really is, uh, you know, who you get to do it with is one of the, the most important you know aspects of our program, and being able to have a uh, you know respect for that, you'll be able to will, be willing to invest the time. Uh, you know, we've done you know multiple you know events, we've done multiple things you know throughout uh, uh, you know really this entire year to to build that camaraderie, to you know help understand you know, you know expectation, to be able to just build relationships, and, you know whether it's from our you know. Our, our 
book groups. Uh, you know, obviously reading the book as a, as a team together, something we always always do in fall camp, and you know, seeing those guys, you know, all different positions, all different years, you know, coming coming back together and being able to work work through that, um, you know, is something that I, I think you know really helps. And we've had a bunch of different events, uh, you know, that, that we've tried to help present opportunities uh, for these guys to get to know each other. And you know, that trip to Jacksonville was big in, in that regards too. But you know, I, I think this team really likes each other, and I think they are excited to play with and for each other. And uh, you know, that's, that's what we're building towards uh, coming up on Saturday. Not last year, when how excited you were to Oh, I know. I know he's very excited, and uh, you know Daryl has put in a lot of work. And you know, I talked to, you know, I amazed him as example as you know, in front of the team there a couple weeks ago. Just you know, sometimes you know, your life will throw curveballs at you, and you know he was fully expecting, and we were fully expecting, uh, you know, just with this sort of situation that he would play last year. Um, but when that did not become the reality, uh, you know, his his approach to having to sit out and you know still working on being on, on getting better and you know being ready for the opportunity. And, you got to the, the last game of the year, um, you know, the season ago. But I mean, there's still so many different dynamics of that that when you just kind of get thrown in there uh, for one game. But you know, he's had this entire offseason, the communication. Uh, you know, obviously who he's playing, you know, side by side with, and what the you know, what that needs to be. And you know, I think he's really done a great job. You know, uh, you know he's playing fast and you know, trusting the you other know, techniques, the fundamentals that he's being asked to do. With AZ, last one. With AZ, I know you guys are complimenting him throughout the offseason. I kind of see the totality of what's he's saying so far. I um, mean, you know, I think him and Ventrell, uh, you know, I think those guys are a couple of, you know, you know elite level corners. And I, mean, I think AZ has, you know, you've grown in his confidence in so many different ways. You know, he's, he's approached the work and improvement. Uh, you know, he's bigger, he's stronger, he's faster. And, you know, he's just uh, he's taking all of the, the, the experiences that he's had because he's played a lot of snaps here. And, you know, you can see that confidence in, in, in every rep. And, uh, you know, and I think the same thing with Ventrell, you know, going into his second year here, uh, just the, the comfort in the calls, the comfort in – and the things that, uh, you know, the, the quick adjustments. And I think our defensive backfield's done a nice job there. Um, and, you know, starting off in this first game, I mean, it's just, you know, one of the great challenges that we'll face this year. I mean, they got speedy receivers, guys that ought to get open. Uh, they do a good job in, uh, in uh, you know, creating space for them. So, you know, our guys got to rise to the challenge. And uh, we're very confident in the guys we have. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.